10 Facts About U.S. Aircraft Carriers Have you ever wondered how a ship longer than three football fields never needs to stop for gas? Or why the U.S. spends $13 billion on a single vessel? Welcome to One Good Fact, where we uncover the secrets of the world's most amazing facts. Today, we're diving into 10 jaw-dropping facts about U.S. aircraft carriers, the floating cities that ruled the seas. From nuclear reactors that run for decades to squadrons of stealth fighters taking off in seconds, this is the ultimate guide to these engineering marvels. Whether you're a military buff or just curious, this video will leave you amazed. Stay with me, because by the end, you'll understand why these ships aren't just tools of war, they're symbols of American might. Let's dive in. Fact number one, nuclear power. The secret to decades at sea. Did you know the U.S. Navy's mightiest ships can sail for decades without refueling? Let's dive into the incredible tech that powers these floating cities. Modern carriers like the Gerald R. Ford and Nimitz classes run on nuclear reactors. These dual reactors, like the A-1B model, crank out 700 megawatts of heat, enough to power 1.3 million homes. They let carriers operate for 20 plus years without stopping for gas. Nuclear power isn't just about endurance, it frees carriers from fossil fuel supply lines, making them unpredictable targets. The reactors are compact too, about 15 feet wide and 20 feet long, yet they fuel a 1,000 foot long warship. But power isn't cheap, which brings us to our next jaw-dropping fact. Fact number two, billion dollar price tags, are they worth it? Would you spend $13 billion on a single ship the U.S. Navy does, and here's why these carriers are worth every penny. Each Ford-class carrier costs $13 billion. To put that in perspective, that's more than the GDP of 30 countries. Critics call it excessive, but supporters argue they're irreplaceable for global dominance. The price includes cutting-edge tech like electromagnetic catapults and stealth coatings. Plus, carriers stay in service for 50 years, spreading the cost over generations. But money's only part of the story. Let's talk about the sheer size of these beasts. Fact number three, floating cities, the largest warships ever built. Imagine a warship so big it could house 6,000 people. Welcome to the Nimitz and Ford classes, the world's largest floating fortresses. These carriers stretch over 1,000 feet long and displace 100,000 tons, roughly 5,000 elephants worth. They carry 80-plus aircraft, from F-35s to helicopters, and have hospitals, gyms, and even Starbucks. Built to last 50 years, they're designed to survive everything from hurricanes to missile strikes. Their nuclear cores mean they can sprint at 30-plus MIF indefinitely. But how many of these giants does the U.S. actually have? Let's break it down. Fact number four, astonishing 11 carriers, why the U.S. needs a dozen. The U.S. has 11 aircraft carriers, more than the rest of the world combined. But some experts say we need even more. Why? The U.S. operates 11 fleet carriers, each packing the punch of a small air force. China has three. Russia, just one. Yet, with global commitments, carriers are often stretched thin. Carriers project power anywhere, anytime. They're why the U.S. can respond to crises in hours, not weeks but maintaining them costs $1 billion per year per ship. Speaking of history, did you know carriers started as tiny Jeep carriers? Fact number five, escort carriers, the humble origins of floating airfields. Before the supercarriers, there were Jeep carriers, tiny, scrappy ships that changed naval warfare forever. In World War II, the U.S. built 120 plus escort carriers, or CVs. At 500 feet long, they were half the size of modern carriers but vital for hunting submarines and supporting invasions. Nicknamed Kaiser Coffins for their thin armor, CVEs fought in battles like Guadalcanal. They evolved from converted merchant ships, a far cry from today's nuclear titans. But how did carriers go from wooden decks to nuclear power? Let's rewind. Fact number six, the floating airfield revolution. A century ago, battleships ruled the seas. Then came a crazy idea. What if planes could take off from ships? 
spoiler, it changed everything. The first carriers, like the US Langley, were experimental. Skeptics called them flying circuses, but World War II proved carriers could sink battleships, like when Enterprise dive bombers destroyed Japan's fleet at Midway. Today, carriers are the backbone of US naval strategy. They're mobile air bases, launching strikes from international waters without needing foreign bases. But how did these floating cities actually work? Let's geek out over the tech. Fact number seven, reactors, catapults, and stealth inside the tech. Ever wonder how a 30-ton fighter jet launches off a carrier deck? Spoiler, it's not magic, it's electromagnetic. Ford-class carriers use EMALS, electromagnetic catapults, to hurl jets from 0 to 165 miles per hour in seconds. Older carriers use steam catapults, which were less reliable. The reactors also power advanced radar and stealth coatings to avoid detection. And with 75-plus aircraft on board, carriers can launch 200-plus sorties daily. But all this tech comes at a cost. Let's talk money. Fact number eight, a staggering $11 billion a year, the true cost of carrier operations. Owning a carrier isn't just about the $13 billion price tag. It costs another $1 billion yearly to keep one running. Where does the money go? Fuel, food, and 6,000 crew salaries add up. Each day at sea costs $7 million, enough to buy 10 F-35s. And that's before factoring in jet fuel and munitions. Critics argue carriers are expensive targets, but the Navy insists they're a bargain for the global influence they buy. But let's end on a high note, how these ships keep the peace. Fact number nine, global dominance, why carriers matter today. In a world of rising tensions, carriers are the US ultimate trump card. Here's how they keep the peace and win wars. Carriers project power without invading countries. They've been used in Iraq, Afghanistan, and now deter China in the Pacific. Their mere presence often prevents conflicts. With 800 plus aircraft across the fleet, the U.S. has more carrier-based fighters than most air forces. Fact number 10, the future, drones, lasers, and beyond. Carriers aren't relics, they're evolving. Think drone swarms, laser weapons, and AI. Here's what's next. The Ford class is testing drone integration and directed energy weapons. Future carriers may launch unmanned refueling drones or stealth bombers. As threats grow, carriers adapt. They'll remain central to U.S. strategy for decades. And there you have it, the secrets behind the world's most powerful ships. Thanks for watching. If you love these facts, smash that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into military tech.